Bene, let me recognize the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. LaHood, to inquire. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, welcome back, Ambassador Tai. Uh, you've referenced several times today the conflict in Ukraine, and um, I wanted to just um, ask you about the potential conflict uh, and how that affects our relationship with China. Um, obviously, the, the Russia-China alliance um, it has been, um, I think, frustrating for mon many of us to see that. I know that uh, the NSA um, National Security Advisor Sullivan met with his Chinese counterpart in Rome two weeks ago, laid out uh, some of the consequences and ramifications of, of China's involvement in the conflict and supporting Russia. Can you talk about what the economic and trade consequences will be for China uh, if they, um, you know, up their engagement with supporting Russia? This is a really important question, Mr. LaHood. Thank you for asking it. Um, you know, I think that um, uh, what has become clear in the context of Russia's invasion um, and violation of Ukraine's sovereignty um, is a question around um, uh, uh, how much do we trust our partners to behave the way we think that um, they should be incentivized to behave? Um, in terms of um, uh, looking then at China through the lens of this conflict, uh, I think what becomes very, very clear is that um, China is in charge of the decisions that China is going to make. And that um, uh, given this uh, very interconnected world that we live in uh, from a foreign policy standpoint and also a trade standpoint, um, that um, uh, choices that we all make in the midst of uh, this particular conflict um, are going to have consequences. Um, so I, you know, I think that in terms of uh, the national security um, advisor's conversation with his Chinese counterpart, uh, from I think um, he has done his job in laying out the consequences. From my perspective, from a trade lens, um, the choices that China is going to make in this context are going to either reinforce or um, uh, surprise us with respect to our sense of trust around um, where China is and China's vision for the future of the global economy and its role in it. And we are absolutely paying attention to see what choices China makes. <clears throat> and, and, and is it your understanding from that meeting that they um, are aware of the, the, the consequences and the ramifications and the repercussions if, in fact, they violate that? In all of my interactions with my counterparts in Beijing, I have every reason to believe that they are very sophisticated thinkers and um, very strategic thinkers there. Thank you. Um, switching subjects, I want to just touch on uh, the, the TRIPS issue, and I know a number of my colleagues have talked about the TRIPS waiver. And I guess uh, I'm concerned that under the most recent reported compromise agreement between the U.S., South Africa, EU, and India, um, there, there will be a, a lack of oversight and limited um, mechanisms to prevent countries receiving U.S. IP under this agreement from providing that IP to China, directly or through Chinese SOEs, producing vaccines in other countries. My question is, how can you ensure that countries that are authorized to produce vaccines pursuant to the terms of the agreement will not share this IP with China? So, um, Congressman, on this question, let me um, provide two responses. Uh, one is, I am aware that uh, there is a uh, text that's been leaked um, through um, some process that purports to be a, a compromise agreement between these four parties at the WTO. Let me just clarify a little bit in terms of um, what, how I understand uh, compromise um, to, to mean. It doesn't mean that there is an agreement. It means that the compromise, the concept of the compromise is an outcome of a process. And I will confirm that there has been a process um, um, uh, that has been facilitated by the WTO Director General in terms of um, um, having a discussion between these four WTO members. Um, so you just want to clarify, when you use the word agreement, just say that there has been no agreement. Um, and I continue to um, uh, emphasize the degree to which um, I, as the U.S. Trade Representative, care very, very much about this um, exercise of consultation. And what you've just said to me about your concerns about um, uh, the use of intellectual property and who it's used by is something that I've absolutely heard. And I want you to know that I have heard that from you and others, and I'm hearing it right now. 
Thank you.